everybody welcome back to the channel um, today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Elden Ring and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to from the top um, kill the fire giant okay so we're gonna we're gonna do this as fast as possible we're gonna do this from the very beginning of the game so I'm gonna show you guys starting from a new file um, we're gonna we're gonna start off as a you, you can really start off as anybody you want but personally I'm gonna start off as the wretch um, just because they look really cool I like their uh, style and um, the type, the body type, it's really just uh, picking your sex. I'm going to go with uh, type B, um, really just a random choice. And uh, yeah, and then you can customize your character to your heart's content. Um, so uh, I'm just going to cut here to my completed character and I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so here we are. I'd like to uh, formally introduce you all to Jeff Ebick. Um, she is my beautiful creation um, who I'm going to be... Um, doing this playthrough with um so we're gonna be starting off as a uh, jeff epic um we're gonna we're gonna pick um no um we're not gonna pick a keepsake here because uh we we don't need those handouts and we're just gonna get right into it all right so here we are at the beginning of the game um the first step to killing the fire giant is that you are going to have to start the game i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this item here it's not going to be important for killing the fire giants at all. But you want to head through this door and uh, we're just going to kind of progress through the area and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step on how to get through this place um, because it's uh, not... Oh, actually it is pretty... It's uh, it's uh, it's it's very linear. If, um, But I'm still going to show you because I want this to be a conclusive tutorial. Um, you know, all in one, no nonsense. So here we go. We're just going to kind of go across this bridge here. Um, jumping all the way. I really appreciate the addition of uh, jumping into this game. I think it's a fantastic feature. But you're going to want to go through this uh, big uh, gate here. And uh, at this point, you're going to have a bit of a scripted boss battle. Um, and here he is. Um, so I'm just going to kind of wail on him a little bit. Um, however, you should know if you die, if you don't die, whatever happens, you. Um, you're going to be teleported at a certain point, you'll see that in a second, to a uh, kind of tutorial area. And uh, in this tutorial area, yeah, here we go, we're going to skip ahead here. Um, you're going to get a cutscene, right, introducing you to this uh, useless character. She doesn't really have any uh, relevance in the story at all. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and skip this cutscene. Um, at this point, you're going to get your uh, flask of... Uh, cerulean tears and and stuff and whatnot and uh, that is a uh, that's going to be your healing item and your magic boost and all this stuff it's not going to be very important for killing the fire giant at all um but at this point you're going to want to head up the stairs here there's nothing to explore in this area whatsoever um not really any uh items or anything like that so we're just going to kind of head up the stairs um there's our first sight of grace here we're not going to really be worrying about any sights of grace because you know they're pretty useless for killing the fire giant um more useless items here i'm just gonna get them for shits and giggles um but at this point we're coming up on this elevator and um this elevator is what's going to take us up to the uh the rest of the world so um as you'll see here in a second um and you should be following along in your game so do be paying attention i'm gonna open this door and that is what is going to lead you out into the elden ring so we're doing a small skip ahead here um you know, I do want this to be a conclusive, all-in-one tutorial, but you see, where we started from is just right over there. See, right over there. Um, so it's a very straightforward path to get to this place. This is called the Church of Ella. Um, it's a pretty pointless uh, pointless point of interest. Um, nothing really happens here. However, there is an item, somber smithing, uh, smithing zone, and you are going to want to kill Santa Claus. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna wait on Santa Claus. Santa Claus gives you some uh, pretty good items if you kill him. Um, you're not gonna want uh, bother talking to him at all. He uh, he doesn't really have any interesting dialogue or anything. Um, he's actually uh, he's actually kind of so you're just gonna kind of want to wail on him a little bit um, until he dies and uh, take his items. Um, might fight back a little bit, but he's pretty weak. We're gonna heal up a little bit. Um, See, so he's trying to run away. Um, he's really quite a piece of shit, so we're just going to kind of beat him to death here. Um, there we go, just like that. There he goes. See, you get that item there, you get the finger snap emote, and you get a, uh, Hale's Bell Bearing. Um, so that's 
what Santa gives you when he dies. Um, pretty good items, and uh, you're also going to want to kill his uh, reindeer here. He also gives you a pretty uh, rare item. Pretty sure it's called, uh, what is it? It's uh, Thin Beast Bones. Um, pretty useful item for uh, this game. You are going to want to make sure you pick that up, and I'm going to get the Sight of Grace here. Uh, just to refresh the area and show you, uh, to make sure that Santa is in fact dead. So you do want to make sure Santa is dead um, in your playthrough. Alright, so for simplicity's sake, I've made another short time skip here. It's a very linear path from the Church of Ella. You're basically just going to follow that path, run past all these enemies, and siege this castle. Um, so, heading through this tunnel here, um, we are going to have the first boss fight of the game. The first real boss fight of the game. There's Excited Grace here, you can just ignore that. Um, who is going to be mandatory if we want to kill the fire giant. And if all is well, you should see these, uh, cooperator, this cooperator sign here. So, um, just gonna go ahead and summon them. It's a NPC, and they're going to basically do all the work for you for, uh, doing, um, this first boss here. Um, you can see the fog wall is here for me. That's because I did attempt this before, and I died, but I died on purpose because I, uh, realized I wasn't recording. So, um, basically the strat is just kind of hide in the bushes, let the NPCs handle it. See, there, there we have our NPC there, he's just kind of staring at me, being really useful, useless for now, but just wait, he, he'll, he'll get into it. Um, if he does attack you, which he really shouldn't because you're hiding in the bushes, um, just, just kind of dodge him, it's not that hard. Um, so just kind of sneak away the best you can, hiding the bushes as we go along. Um, so there we have our NPCs over there just kind of wailing on them. Um, just going to kind of sneak, sneak real sneakily away from them. And you want to keep your distance. And I have a, I have a very special strategy I'm going to show you guys. So you just got to, you got to pace yourself so he doesn't see you. Um, basically just moving bush to bush. And then get the attack here. Just when he's not looking, he's attracted. There's my room. Um, just gonna get right up behind this. See so if you can hide behind it. Uh oh, one of our NPCs is down. That's fine. Um, we're just gonna use the rest emote. And uh, basically, we're going to be invulnerable. Um, our NPC will handle all of the fighting. And um, we can just sit back and enjoy the view. I mean, this is a beautiful game. And uh, very easy game, thanks to, uh, thanks to these, uh, this NPC. So. Yeah, as, as you can see, they're absolutely destroying Margit the Felon, and he's a pretty weak boss. Um, not much to worry about, especially thanks to this killer strat that I'm, I'm showing you guys. Um, I, I would be absolutely sure to employ this in your game. Um, it is going to make it much easier to get to the Fire Giant in a uh, effective amount of time. So, um, as you can see, he's about to die. There he goes. Yep, easy, easy strat. Um, and I can kind of jump out of hiding. I was here all along, you know, and uh, do a little celebration, jump for joy. Yeah, there we go. Easy dub. Um, so there we go. That's how you beat the first boss. So um, I'm going to touch the grace here. Just as a little flex. It's not necessary at all, but there we go. All right, so as you can see here, we've skipped ahead just a little bit, just one more time. This is the last skip of the video, I promise, but I just want to keep things um, c concise. So for uh, the path you're going to want to follow, uh, you're going to want to come to this point on the map, and you're basically just want to kind of come from around here, just down this little area down here, and uh, you know, this is where we start. You're just going to kind of want to come up and around this way, and that should lead you right here. Um, that's where you fight the fire giant. So you're just going to want to kind of go in, and um, honestly, you know, I said this was a tutorial, but I promise you it's actually a pretty easy fight, so I'm just going to kind of speed up this sequence, and, uh, you know, I'll let you guys uh, slow it down if you must, but um, pretty easy fight, just kind of follow my movements exactly, shouldn't be too hard, and uh, should be able to beat him pretty easy, um, so just getting that montage. <laughs>
you have it. There's how you uh, beat the fire giant. Um, here we have a little cutscene of him dying. Luckily, he is pretty easy. There is no second stage at all. Um, he's very hurt. Um, so, yeah, that's how you beat the fire giant. So, yeah, I want to thank you all for checking out my tutorial. Um, let me know in the comments if uh, this worked for you in beating the fire giant in the El Elden Ring. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you in in the next one. <laughs>